Hi everyone. Today we're going to make our third Taste of Autumn recipe and it's pumpkin spice rice crispy treats. And these are some I made earlier today. It's really delicious and easy to make and here are the ingredients you'll need. So of course you need some rice crispy cereal and some pumpkin puree. You'll also need pumpkin pie spice, which is actually a combination of four different spices if you don't have this pumpkin pie spice combo. It's nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, and allspice. you also need some butter and lots of mini marshmallows. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is line your baking sheet with a uh, parchment paper like I did here and set it aside. Um, if you're doing the full recipe, you can use a nine by nine inch pan, but I used a smaller one since I have the recipe. And then if you're doing the full recipe, you'll need two tablespoons of pumpkin spite, pumpkin puree. But since I have it, I used one tablespoon. So just measure that out and then put it on a paper towel because you want to take out some of the moisture um, before you add it to the rest of the Rice Krispies and just let that sit there. And next you're gonna measure out your butter. So um, the full recipe calls for three tablespoons, but since I'm having it, I'm using one and a half tablespoons. So just get a butter knife and it should have the measurements right there. So one and a half, about here. Going to put it in a pot and set it to medium heat to melt the butter. I'm going to use a spatula, but you can use a spoon or whatever you prefer. And make sure you have your parents help you with this because it's a, um, you don't want to burn yourself. So I'm going to wait for the butter to melt and then once it's melted, we're going to add our mini marshmallows and stir until those marshmallows are melted. And the full recipe calls for five cups of mini marshmallows, but since we're having it, we're using two and a half cups. You can see the butter melting in the pot here. <laughs> it's almost ready. Okay, so it's pretty much melted now. So 
one cupped in. Stir it around a little with your spatula. Now I'm adding a half cup. And then I have to measure out another cup here because it's two and a half cups if you're having a recipe. Five cups if you're doing a full recipe. Okay, and then putting another cup in. and just stir it around until all the marshmallows are melted. So you can see the marshmallows are sort of sticking together. And just keep them moving around so they don't stick too much to the bottom of the pot. Okay. You can see they're almost melted. There's just a few. Puree. So you can get this spatula and sort of scrape it off. And you're just going to want to stir it in. The marshmallows are now a nice orangey color. And and then our next step is to add the pumpkin pie spice. And the full recipe calls for three quarters teaspoon, but we're just using, a, having it, so we're doing a quarter teaspoon and a pinch, so a little more than a quarter teaspoon. So just sprinkle that in. And stir that in with my spatula. definitely smell it. It's really nice spice. So I just turned the fire off because everything's melted and combined. And this is what it looks like now. All right. 
next we're going to add our cereal and the full recipe calls for six cups but we are doing three since cut we're cutting it in half we just pour it on in and stir it all together So stir it enough till you think everything is combined. And it should look something like this. And once that's set, you're going to pour it into your um, baking dish with the parchment paper. Then wait for it to cool and cut into it and enjoy. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have fun making these pumpkin spice rice crispy treats at home and we'll see you next time. Bye!